Okay, nine hour drive, and we just made it to the 4th of July Creek Trailhead, one of the few entrances to the White Cloud Wilderness. Long drive, happy to be here. So day one, we're headed to Bourne Lakes. Should be about three and three quarters of a mile or so. The pretty hefty ascent from, pretty hefty climb up. from what we're being told, so. Okay, so we just got to the Bourne Lakes Junction. So if we were to go right, we would make it down to 4th of July Lake and to the southern end of the White Clouds. But we're gonna go left, and essentially it's going to take us all the way up this, this mountain right here, kinda up to this ridge line where that saddle's peeking through. And then we're gonna climb down, or climb up, and then down into Ants Basin. And a little jaunt down there will be where our destination is for the night. Bourne Lakes. So we're making pretty good time. As far as getting to this junction, we've gone 1.74 miles in 56 minutes. So really pretty hike so far. Good time. So we're sitting at about 2.2 miles or so, and kind of right down below, you can see 4th of July Lake. There's actually a few people we can see down there, but I got gorgeous views up here all around. It's a little bit smoky, but the sawtooths are tucked way back there, and you got views for miles. They're really pretty. So on our way up this climb, I didn't see it on the map before, but we actually came to this small little no-name lake, which is pretty awesome. We're, we're going to take five for a minute and just kind of catch up and hydrate, eat a couple snacks, but it looks like the trail actually doesn't go up that saddle. It kind of continues along around that ridge line and then Ants Basin, and then we'll go down into Bourne Lakes somewhere beyond that ridge. Okay, so we're back on the trail. Took about, I don't know, 20 minute break or so. Feeling good, ate some snacks. Beautiful little no-name laker pond in the background. And now we're just kind of on our way. What we're thinking is around this ridge line. And then we'll gradually kind of come down into Ants Basin and then into Bourne Lakes. So probably another one and a half miles or so and we'll be at our destination for night one, Bourne Lakes. Oh, 
Holy smokes. Wow. Yeah. That is cool. Ah, that's awesome. Look at that. We just crested this whole ridge line and made it to the top, and we have literal views for miles. Holy cow. That is so cool. So our trail continues, I believe, and at some point we'll probably start making our, our way down and you can see a, a faint trail all the way down there and then we'll drop down into Ant's Basin. So I bet you that is the Devil's Staircase right there. Yep, exactly, that low point in the ridge. Yep. That's the Devil's Staircase. <laughs> Looks it's got little tiny point. Oh my gosh, yeah, yep, that is good. steep. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Beautiful views, man. Okay, so we just came from that tiny little saddle right there, Blackman Peak right there, and now we're in Ants Basin on a nice flat walk to Bourne Lakes. This basin is really pretty, easy hiking, and I think the worst of the day one is behind us. Awesome. We find home for the night. Good deal. All right. I was getting attacked over there, but all right. Made it to the Bourne Lakes. Keep an eye out for Josh. Yep. Josh is a little behind us, but should be crossing our path right here. Kind of across this little meadow, but we made. Born Lakes, and total time of two hours, 43 minutes and eight seconds, 4.33 miles hiked today. So, oh, it's, been a, it's been a day. Waking up at 3 a.m., driving nine-ish hours to even get to the trailhead, and of course that's what stops and everything. Um, but we just got here, and it's time to set up camp. Let's take a peek at Born Lakes here. Pretty nice, a little marshy, a little swampy, but there are fish jumping. So I think Bob's gonna fish here tonight, probably Josh too. But uh, yeah, we're saving the best for last with this trip. So tomorrow's gonna be amazing. But right now we're just gonna get camp set up, have dinner and just settle in, get ready for the big push tomorrow. Okay, so we're sitting right around 8.15 and we all just kind of got camp set up. None of us have eaten dinner yet, so that's the, uh, the next task at hand, but just a little camp tour here at Bourne Lakes in the White Clouds. We've got my tent, my setup here. 
We got you. And we got Bob's tent over here. Check me out. What up? What's happening? So we're kind of winding down here at camp at Bourne Lakes in the White Clouds and pretty much just kind of settled in for the night and we're just about to go hang our our ursacs our bear bags and probably climb into to bed for the night and call it a day it has been one <laughs> so it's been a great day so far this area is beautiful okay so it's sitting right around a little after 10 o'clock at night night one at Bourne lakes white clouds and it has been a day, up at 3 a.m., drove nine hours, hiked a little over four miles, and in those four miles, you had to earn it. I mean, it was it was lengthy, and it was steep. Um, lots of elevation gain, lots of hills, and it's just beautiful out here. So I'm really excited for tomorrow to tackle the next part of the trip. And yeah, we're all beat, and we're gonna catch some sleep, so talk to you guys all in the morning, and yeah, day two, the clouds, here we go.